Welcome everyone, here is how you customise the home screen of Samsung S23 Ultra. So my personal style is of my old iPhone, uh, you can see the resemblance. Of course you can do whatever you like, but uh, I'm a former iPhone user, so I just kind of like things as they were before. I will say though, Samsung better than iPhone, so uh, you did make a good choice if you bought the S23 Ultra. So on the home screen, if we long press on the empty space, we can change the wallpaper and style. And I've selected, if you're wondering, the macOS Snow Leopard wallpaper. Looks really clean, in my opinion. You can also change the theme. So if we tap on the themes here, this will change the app icon look. Okay, so if I tap on a the theme, you can see it's gonna change the app icons and some of the system, you can see, will have a different theme than usual. So some of them will cost money, but uh, some of them are free. So let's have a look at this one here. And if we download the theme, once it's downloaded, you should have the option to set the theme with the apply button here. I'm not gonna apply the theme. I actually like the stock, but if you want to, you can. Then we have the widgets. So if you wanna add a widget to your home screen, there are a bunch of uh, stock widgets and there are third party widgets as well. So if you're wondering what I have on my home screen currently, I have the battery widget, which is a stock widget in the Android. And then I have the weather widget, which is the default weather app. And the advantage of using the stock widgets is they don't have ads or they don't have like branding. So it looks really clean in my opinion. If you wanted, you could also, let's just long press again. Just try and long press, there we go. Go back to the widgets. You can also create a widget stack. So let's just say Apple Music here. If I add that to my home screen, resize the widget. Oh, it's not gonna allow me, but let's just use this one. And if I just go over to another widget, you can create a stack. If you slide across, you have multiple widgets here in one area. Now, if you have your Android currently, your home icon layout is gonna be different. So let's long press on the home screen again. And uh, let's tap into the settings. So I changed the home screen grid to four by six. I mainly did that because I'm a you know former iPhone user, former guys, former. Some people get upset when they see this in the background, but I'm a former iPhone user and that is the iPhone grid where you have a four by six. So that is the reason why I selected that. But of course you do have a bunch of other you know, sizes you can set. I'm not gonna set them because then it's gonna screw up my uh, home screen. On top of this, you have the home screen layout. So if you have the home and app screen, that means you have the regular home screen here. And then when you slide up, you can view all apps. I recommend you leave that as it is, but Let's go back into this uh, settings. But if we go back to the settings, you can just have the home screen. So all apps will be on the home screen. And if you slide up, you'll be brought to a search bar. Okay. And then you have a bunch of other home screen customization here. I'll be honest, I have not touched any of this, but uh, it does give you exactly what it does. And then on or off switch. If we go into the settings app, we were in the home screen area earlier, so you don't need to enter here again. With that being said, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.